Hello again, folks. Amelia here from the Quibdejant team with another episode explaining our brand new Metaverse MMO. In this episode, we will discuss the blockchain tech behind Quibdejant, layer two scaling protocol, and the star of the show, play to work economy of virtual world. Let's get right to it. As we have already discussed, Quibdejant Verse is a Metaverse project through and through. We are building the entire MMO experience with the purpose to deliver an open, self-governed economic market, free to trade and transact between the players. In order to ensure the safety, anonymity, asset ownership, and secure transactions for our virtual world, we need to build the entire game on top of the blockchain. That is an absolute necessity to protect our players' assets and give them the freedom to trade securely and without arbitrary restrictions. When searching for a perfect blockchain network for our project, we quickly discovered that Ethereum network is a match made in heaven for our video game. Since Ethereum generously supports building decentralized applications seamlessly, and it is the second most reliable and maintained network after Bitcoin, it was an easy choice to go with. However, due to Ethereum becoming a global sensation, the network quickly became overcrowded lately. This has caused unreasonable spikes in gas fees and transaction times. So, to avoid this issue, we have decided to construct a layer two protocol, which is basically our in-house network. To put it in simple terms, this protocol harnesses the decentralized and secure features of Ethereum without its drawbacks of high fees and low transaction speeds. Layer two will be fully developed at the end of 2022, ready to support the launch of our Verse mode. And now. It's time to discuss our major feature, an unrestricted economic model, mirroring the libertarian model utilizing market equilibrium. We call this economic model a play-to-work model. Play-to-work model is not just a fancy word; it perfectly encapsulates our intent by giving the players freedom not to earn passive rewards through grinding, but to generate their own success through their effort and skill. With the support of Ethereum Layer Two Network and creation tools of Unreal Engine Five, each player will engage in the economy of Quibdejant by selling or purchasing user-generated items freely, or even employing or getting employed by other users for various tasks. The entire sandbox will be driven by the demand and supply of the players, without outside intervention. This will be an opportunity for talented artists and individuals to build beautiful, impressive, elegant, and experimental in-game items, and have the chance to bring those items on a global scale market without any regulations or restrictions. Only limit is the one of safety, security, and honoring the contracts. Our players will have a legitimate chance to build careers out of this endeavor. And their success will not be determined by us, but by an open market that will dictate the trends and the demand. To give you a clear picture on our economy model, let's discuss an example. If you have a great design idea of a spaceship, beautifully structured with colorful palettes surrounding the exterior and a great layout to top it off. You can construct this spaceship using our creation tools and get it up for sale on our open marketplace. Of course, you will be in competition with the entire market, and everyone will have an equal chance to sell their items. Even if you lack the required skills to produce impressively designed in-game items, the ever-expanding economy of Quibdejantverse will give everyone the opportunity. To trade openly by purchasing and selling the items that might be appreciated in value due to increased demand. As you see, our economy will provide equal chances of profit to everyone involved and interested. We envision many future uses of our verse mode that includes training simulations, education, architecture, product demonstration, and even prototype testing. As for the reward system, we will generously supply our player base with useful upgrades, weapons, outfits, and other equipment 
to progress with their characters. These items will be acquired through tough challenges within the game. They will be awarded through chests of varying rarities. We have four types of chests in the game. Ordinary, Rare, Limited, and Legendary. And all of those chests will be available to the players through tough challenges of PvE modes presented in the game. Each time the players will complete challenging missions, they will receive one of the three chests. Ordinary, Rare, and Legendary. Limited chests will only be available on special events. What is worth noting is that the probability of obtaining any chest items are established using decentralized protocol to prevent and arbitrage manipulations. So there is no way of arguing that we have any control over the player's lucky index. Finally, we want to underline the fact that our economy will not be subject to superficial manipulation. We do not have an in-game currency, nor do we tie our marketplace with a volatile coin. Our trading currency will be an USD stable coin to ensure overall stability of the market. No token burning, staking, or other superficial tactics will be used to manually drive the hype up. The only catalyst to the increased value of our virtual world will be the core game quality and the interest of the expanding player base. Everything else is just a short-term gain that will ultimately make our project worse in the long term. To briefly summarize our philosophy behind the project, we believe that the fun, enjoyment, and thrills of a great video game experience should be the core value of each gaming project. We also believe that any superficial means of incentivizing players to stick around will not contribute to a long-term expansion and stability of the player base. That's why we have envisioned creating a great video game and giving the players the freedom to actually generate the trading economy themselves. We truly believe that providing tangible value and freedom to use that value are the core foundations of Metaverse. That's it for now. Thanks for tuning in to another episode on Cryptogenreverse. In our final episode in this mini-series, we will discuss the team behind Cryptogenreverse and their capabilities in detail. Until next time, folks!